Hey groups, so excited to be with you guys today. Uh, just a bit of a recap on what we talked about over this weekend. We know there are so many unmet expectations, whether that's in this specific Christmas season or throughout our lives. Um, and what we saw is that in the Old Testament, the people before Jesus was born had some expectations about who the coming Messiah and who the Savior was going to be of that world. They were looking for a specific person. And we, learned, we learned that the Romans were kind of overshadowing them and taxing them really bad and doing a lot of evil things that they were under oppression. And they had this mental picture, this expectation that their Savior was going to be the warrior and the king and the protector that they were waiting for. And when Jesus showed up, they had some unmet expectations, as you can imagine. Jesus was not the king they were anticipating. He wasn't the one who was going to rule over everything, but he was the king of kings, right? And Jesus wasn't the savior that they were anticipating, the savior that was going to come in and get rid of all the Romans and save them from that oppression, but he was the savior of the world and savior of the eternal lives that they had. You see, Jesus came not like they expected, but he met all the other things that they didn't anticipate. You see, in our lives, we often have expectations of how Jesus and God are going to show up in our lives. We put some specific parameters in our prayers about how we want Jesus to answer specific things. And when they aren't met, what do we do? We, we're frustrated. We are in sometimes even denial. We're doubtful that Jesus is even present in our lives. And yet, what if he is so present, but he's just answering things in a different way? So many unexpected unmet expectations that we might have and Jesus might still be in those and I know he still is. So let's dive into some group's questions and talk about some of these unmet expectations. Hey kids, we are going to get started with you first. Uh, so the first question is, do you have things that your parents expect you to do? What are some of those things? Number two, what happens when you don't meet those expectations, right? When you don't decide to do the things they ask, how, how do they respond? Is it in a pleasant way? Sometimes we react in a negative way when our expectations aren't met, right? Sometimes you may see that from your parents if you don't do your chores on time or the house isn't clean enough or you come in late, right? They have some negative reactions. And in the same way, you have some negative reactions too when expectations aren't met, right? Even think about you expect your parents to provide food for you and provide a shelter and a warm place to stay, Right? In the same way, the early followers of God had expectations of who their Savior was going to be. You see, and they were asking for specific things out of their Savior and asking for specific things out of that day and age. Now, out of James, there's a few verses I want you to read to think about how we should be asking for things. So read James 1, 5 through 8, and then I have two more questions for you. So James tells us that we should be asking for wisdom, right, and to strengthen our weaknesses. Here's the question out of that. Number three, do you expect God to show up in a specific way when you ask for something, or do you allow God to work in an unexpected way that you may have? And here's the last question. Number four, 
How can you look for how God is working in your life? And how do you keep an open mind for how God is working? Hey kids, thanks for joining us today for groups questions. I love you guys engaging with us in some of the things we're talking about. So you guys have a great week and we're looking forward to seeing you again soon. Hey adults, it is your turn. And as you know, we're in a series on expectations and it's not hard to think about expectations in our life that are sometimes not met like we anticipate. So let's dive right into questions. Number one, what are some of your unex- your unmet expectations in some previous holidays or over this past year? What are some unmet expectations? Number two, what kind of reaction do you have when your expectations aren't met like you anticipate them being? Is it positive? Is it negative? How do you react? Number three, and I want you to think about this personally and kind of respond in an honest way. Do you reject God when he doesn't show up as you expected? Number four, when unexpected things happen in your life, what do you lean on? Do you lean on things of this world like social media or do you lean on an addiction because it's a happy place for you sometimes? What, what do you lean on when things are unexpected? And number five, what kinds of things have you been asking God for lately? And do you expect him to show up in a specific way? Talk about that amongst yourselves. Hey groups, thanks for engaging in today's adult questions. And I I want to challenge you too, if you have time, if you want to dig deeper, we do have a digging deeper section um, on the next page. We'd love for you to go through if you have the time. But also a few quick announcements about uh, what is going to be coming up over the next week. So stay tuned for that. Welcome to the Group Vine. We got some exciting things going on here and a few things we just wanted to let you know about. Uh, when you give when you give a tithe or an offering to the foundry, that money doesn't just stop right here. It doesn't just end. We also believe for ourselves as a church that we should be tithing as well. So any, any money that we get in, we put aside 10% of that towards our mission fund, and we fund some things around the community, we fund some things globally, and we really just believe that living a generous life, even if it's the church too, is the best way to live. So we wanted to thank you that if you give to the Foundry, you also gave to Giving Tuesday, that was this past week, and we want to thank you for living a generous life with us. Uh, But we did want to let you know of an opportunity that has come up this week. There are a few families in the Zealand community that could use a little bit of help this Christmas season. So what we're doing is we found some of these awesome little wood dowel trees, and you'll find these at the entrances at the uh, main campus at the Foundry, and on these, we'll put um, on these some tags that you can take off and grab one, and on those tags are a few different things you can buy for these families, Um, and if you would like to partner with us 
in that, we would really appreciate it. We're just asking you bring those things back by December 17, because um, we're going to have some teachers come in from the area schools and wrap those gifts for the students. So don't don't wrap them before you bring them in. Just uh, buy whatever is on that tag, bring it in, and put that tag that you uh, took home with it as well. Uh, so thank you again so much for living a generous life, and we're so excited to see what we can do in this community with it. Have a great week, groups. We'll see you soon.